Led Zeppelinites unite! I am Cyrus in the park. Hopefully there's n that little dude out there from uh, Dreamscape and 48 Hours. I was busy as an author with the 38 leg. Led Zeppelinites unite. We need to educate the world on the beauty, the linear qualities, the organicness, the musicality, which is Led Zeppelin, but especially Bonham. John Bonham. Not Bonham, as somebody from England pointed out, as we all know. Bonham. 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 New microphone on the bass drum. I put a con I put a condenser mic on it. Got rid of my 57 because it was a little thin. You can hear the squeak. Hear that? Dang, I didn't put an extra note there yet, but. You know, there's something that's happening with this pedal too that's driving me crazy. These pretzels are making... This thing will not stay in there. I got this from my pal. For whatever reason, I think I need a new... This is really loose in there. It's like... But anyway, we'll leave it in there since this is a Bonzolian video. All right. What else we got going on? More drum covers on the way. Somebody needs to have a talk with Jimmy Page about making a full book. Remember I said about like the Beatles book? Where the hell is it here? The complete Beatles recording session. Somebody needs to do it with Zeppelin. Jimmy Page has to help him. He, I'll volunteer. Fly me over to England. We'll hang out at the Moleskin House or the Foreskin House. At the house. At the Bowlskin House. I'm dead serious. Take me up on it. It'll be a great publicity stunt. But then we Led Zeppelinites will get what we want. And then you can, re re you can release... I'm foaming with caffeine. Yes, sir, it's my... This is really my only drug of choice. It's really all I take. People say cocaine or damn coke. I'm just so hyperactive. I'm probably on the Asperger scale. I've been thinking about that lately. Anywho, so, we get the tracks. You know, like, in through the outdoor stuff that came out where you just hear the drums so nice and clear? We get that for all the albums. Oh, my God, we Zeppelin freaks could just... Be, go crazy, okay? So I have my 26 inch bass drum out here, as I said in the video the other day. Also, too, in Led Zeppelinburg, and again, I think all bands should do this. I mentioned yesterday in other videos that if, if you had the ability to get the band's tracks, the certain song mixes, but just remove all the instruments. In other words, have the bands themselves just do it. They could sell them. Eventually, they'd get pirated and put up on eBay, but you'd make some money in the short run. And if you really enforce it on YouTube or whatever like you do... You'd rake in the cash. It'd be really helpful for drummers to play along to songs. In fact, that's one of the best ways for people to develop a feel, is to play along to songs, no matter what they are. Steely Dan, Beethoven, whatever. Okay, and again, my idea of, and it's common sense, make it so you have the ability to play along to the song with the drums you'd hear, but it would just pump out everything but the drums, but the drums somebody's playing. Okay? And I even said in other videos years ago, I even told this to a guy who knows Sean Puffy Diddy Combs, like literally hangs with, like, is a business associate, that forward-thinking bands or musicians should sell, 
packages with their individual tracks and have the ability to people now with the technology coming up to make their own mixes of tunes. People might say, oh yeah, people remix tunes all the time. Yeah, but now with the bands, like the entire, each and every track and with the uh, blessing of the band, I mean, there'd be some great mixes out there. Not just mixes where instrument levels are different, but you could morph together even with time stuff if you're inclined. You know, you can, people do sequence and auto, what the hell is it, uh, quantize non-clicked songs. You could make entire mixes of different genres. You might have like a hat, like a movie. You could literally sit in a theater and watch like the 2015 version of like the lava lamp thing at like Kinetic Playground and just listen to somebody's like 45 minute orchestra of all kinds of different musics and styles morphed into one big thing with the blessing of bands would make money on it and it would sound so magnifique anyway back to Bonnenberg so let's do that everybody and I want to say this it, it dawned on me I made my dear Jimmy Page video where I begged Jimmy Page to do this of course I'm just some schmuck on YouTube but maybe as more time goes by he might hear that maybe it'll get back to him I pled or pleaded with Dave Grohl I made a video, Dear Dave. Roll. I know he has some pull with Jimmy Page for the love of God. He's played with him. They did rock and roll. Dave Grohl played rock and roll with Led Zeppelin on the drums. Do you know how jealous I am of that? This freaking guy was like Bob Zeppelin, Dave Grohl, back in the early 90s. Like, I was playing some Chicago bands at the time. He was playing Washington. Like, we were all, all of us, like us 45-year-olds, were at that time, well, of course, we're, the bands he was in were a hell of a lot bigger than the bands I was in. But my point is, is this freaking Joe Blow guy, just like the rest of us Led Zeppelinites, over time got to play with freaking Led Zeppelin. So I said, Dave Grohl, if you could talk to Jimmy Page, you get the ball rolling on the book or the movie, the seven-hour exhaustive, like the PBS history of jazz, but Led Zeppelin, or just the thing with the tracks where you could play along to it with Zeppelin or any band. Now I'm going to appeal to Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder is more of a Who fan. In fact, I'm not even sure if he really likes Zepp, but God love him. I know Eddie Vedder must know Gra Grave Dole. Dave Grohl, he must. Eddie Vedder, if you hear this. In fact, you know, I know somebody that knows Eddie Vedder. But I'd never have the audacity to ask him to ask Eddie Vedder. Really, that'd be cheap. I need to do this via my video route. <laughs> so Eddie Vedder, if you ever watch this video, talk to Dave Grohl, or if you have Jimmy Page's number, would you just call him on... We Led Zeppelinites behalf. I'll bet there's got to be 8.6 million of us. <sighs> anyway, so that's what I'm saying. What else we got going on? Here's the thing, too. I got my, again, my 16 by 26. Oh, yeah, Eddie Better, if you want to see some of my Who covers, I love the Who, too. Look, I did, what did I do? Won't Get Fooled Again, and a couple others. I mean, I love the Who, too. Pete Townsend is a golden god. He is. All right, so the hi-hats I have here for the drum freaks like myself are this is a peisty 15-inch sound edge top paired with a 15-inch reissue giant beat hi-hat bottom, okay? Everybody knows I've been going, well, my subscribers, you know I've been going on and on about... Eric Peisty and the folks at Peisty releasing a 15-inch pair of Giant Beat Sound Edge hats. And again, I, you know, Eric, if you want to send me a pair, you said you were going to send it to me. You did. You know what? I love you. You know I, I'm a big Peisty guy. In fact, I, I will send me some symbols if you want. I'll, I'll, I'll play them and freak out and see how great they are and send them back to you. I don't need free stuff. I mean, it would be nice to keep the stuff. But anyway, so listen to these guys, non-Sound Edge. You know what? I ordered my, I always get every day, a venti americano, half decaf. Well, for a long time it was a quarter decaf, but I went up to half decaf. Because folks at Starbucks, here's the thing too, these are my observations. Sometimes the decaf espresso shots that come out of the machines, they don't taste like anything. They look black, but they don't have a flavor. It's like the old peanuts thing where you dip a brown crayon in the hot chocolate. Anyway, so check this out. 
So what I'm going to do now is take off the giant beef bottom, the giant beef bottom, and I'm going to put on the, the factory sound edge that came with it. Let's hear the difference, okay? So here's a pair of 2001, my lovely wife bought them for me, 15 inch sound edge hats. Those are so crunchy. Although on the crunch, they're honestly they're probably 15 inch 602 sound edge. I would think. I don't know, maybe not. And then now, what I've been recommending to Air Pisces is a sound edge pair of 15 inch. Giant beat hats. Remember, the reason why I've been pushing those is they'd sound great, but they're also the perfect B8 version of the original Formula 602 15 inch sound edge hats, which are B20L. They would look virtually identical. I mean, apart from the bell shapes and stuff. But they would. The lathing on sound edge 602 stuff, the lathing is giant beat lathing. I mean, within 90%. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my 15 inch giant beat hi-hat top paired with my 15 inch sound edge 2002 bottom and Peisty you could also do this you could do like the KZ Zildjian thing of your you could just sell the hats you could say well here's the package it's a 15 inch giant beat top paired with the factory 2002 bottom I think you should make the full giant beat pairs I also think maybe you should put in the older days there were more ripples so now there's about 34 or 36 I think I've seen older ones that have as many as like, I mean in the 40s, 41, 42, 44, I think even 50, 52. So listen to this guy. There, there's a, if you go back, I'll, I'll put, right now I'll edit in me going through the crunch. The, the 2002s ironically have a stranger, darker bark to them, and this is more of a sweeter, like a sweeter, more a prettier, if you'll allow. Listen, so, uh, hang on, so you gotta really give that crunch the bark. And I think he, we gotta maybe leave that high hat, no, not as open as long. You know what I mean, like, is that a, it's gotta be like, So my point with the coffee before is I think they gave me four shots of espresso because I'm wound like a top. So anyway, that happened to me one time at a show. We were opening for Merle Saunders. In Evanston, my beater fell off and rolled around the front of the drum kit during the first song. Anyway, more videos on the way. I thought I'd kill a couple birds with one stone, try to get a hold of Jimmy Page again via Eddie Better if you could, if you have Dave Grohl's number or maybe even Jimmy Page's number. You rock and roll royalty. Congratulations on being... I'm getting into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Eddie Banner, Jimmy Page. Let's make this book. Let's make this video company. It'll be like a 20 hour saga. Individual tracks, even any artist, like I said before, sell the individual tracks so people can make their own mixes, not just of, like if you made just mixes of Led Zeppelin songs, but even if you were like a Bananarama fan. You could interweave Bananarama stuff. You could mix B Bananarama with Led Zeppelin, with Elton John, with Tom Waits, whatever. You'd have like, you could have 45 minute musical sort of like pieces of beauty. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this anyway. Cause sometimes it's nice to be one like a top. Anyway, seriously, 
More videos on the way. Um, and the Peisty Symbol Giant Beat Roundtable is coming up. We're going to sit right here. I'm going to get this shite out of the way. We'll put three chairs or stools. We'll each have our own piping hot condenser mic. We'll just sort of sit. Maybe someone will smoke a cigar like the hockey dude. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe. And thanks for putting up with my hyper-caffeinated Friday state. This video brought to you by Terry Keating Greatest Hits. Look for it on eBay.